Hey, hey, I have uh, spent the day just uh, taking it a little bit easy um, after the weekend and uh, getting a bit of um, a, a few kind of odds and ends done. And one of the things that I made sure I made a priority was sending out a, a thank you, first of all, to everybody who attended Momentum, but also um, I set up a little feedback form. And um, this was kind of a, an interesting one for me because I did that last year as well. And I, some of the, the comments and some of the things that came back was, was like somebody holding up a mirror to what I already knew, but kind of didn't really want to admit to myself about the presentation that I delivered. Um, and it didn't really, for me, it didn't really hit the mark, but I kind of pushed all that down um, and uh, focused instead on, you know, how awesome the day was in general. And um, when that feedback came through, this is 12 months ago, when, when all that feedback came through, it was uh, a bit like a sledgehammer. Because even though I knew that already, and I knew that I'd, I'd kind of, um, I've, I almost overstretched myself with some of the things I did. There's quite a lot of NLP in there. Um, the, the room size didn't really, uh, and layout didn't really lend itself to, to making, from making the most of that. And it's the first time I'd spoken to an audience of that size and that particular kind of stage. So, um, I, I, I felt like I tried too many new things and on reflection, um, I, I knew that was the case, but when that came back from the feedback form, it was, um, it was a bit, it felt a bit brutal and, um, uh, it kind of got me, got, knocked me back a little bit. Until I realised that you know I had this incredible gift, especially having just uh, spoken about setbacks and dealing with pitfalls and um, and things that don't go so awesomely, uh, I had this amazing opportunity where that exact thing was happening to me in that moment in time. And so I kind of took that and I thought, right, what what can I learn from this? What can I do? How can I adapt? How can I improve? And um, I spent a lot of time working on those things. And um, the presentation on Saturday it wasn't perfect. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't everything that I'd ever hoped for. And uh, there were bits that I can look back on and think, yeah, I probably didn't really explain that as well as I perhaps could have done and uh, that I can see better ways of doing that now. And I put out the feedback form again today and it was almost like I had this insulation from any um, any feeling of judgment that was to come back from that. And we've had a, I've had a few comments back, some really nice comments, some really nice um, pieces of feedback, which is good, but also some pieces of feedback that once again, mirrored my own understanding and perception of the way I delivered. So this tells me two things. First of all, um, I have a pretty good insight into what, what when I'm doing a good job and when I'm not quite hitting the mark. For the, and, and I don't take that as a sort of um, a, a judgy bad thing. It's just, you know, if I can tell when I'm on the mark and when I'm not on the mark, then that can only be a good thing, right? And But more importantly than that, it's going to give me that feedback that I can take without attaching any meaning to it, which is what I did last year. So last year, the, the, the feedback came through and I was like, you know, I'm no good. No, I didn't come up to the mark. I wasn't as good as the other guys. Uh, whereas this year, I'm taking any feedback that comes through and I feel like, well, I already know this stuff anyway. Give me some specific things that I can work on, I can focus on. I've already got a whole list of my own things um, because I know how much I've improved in the last 12 months. And I know that if I can get some more feedback, much the same as I did last time, then I've got a very exciting and interesting 12 months up ahead again. So it was a kind of an interesting day because it was a bit of a go slow, chill out day with a couple of coaching calls, one-to-one uh, -one calls, and some 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 admin um, or, or check-in work with my with my groups, and obviously sending out this email and re reading some through some of the responses, um, and it's sort of this feeling of kind of feeling quite energized from the weekend and and, and motivated and just. Kind of, I, I guess I feel really quite proud of myself for for having this, um, for, for separating myself from the uh, from any meaning that uh, I, I may have otherwise made of the comments that are coming back, and also, as I said, my own interpretation of it. I think even without the comments last time, I'd have known that I, I'd missed the mark um, in my own in my own view. Um, but when you don't get that reflected back, it's quite easy to start to think, "Oh no, that was fine, that was fine," and you never learn, you never grow, you never change. Uh, so I have this, as I said, this uh, amazing opportunity, and today was a really kind of positive day in that regard, because uh, it it represented a, a kind of a, a tipping point for me, um, for for not getting hung up on too much on um, what people say and learning how to how to take the emotion out and just look at the the, the raw facts and uh, what I can take from that and learn and grow. 
So, a good day today, and uh, looking forward to putting together the next. Uh, I, I've decided, well, I'm making, I haven't decided, I'm making, in the process of making some decisions, making some plans on how I can put together a, a number of smaller uh, seminars and also putting together another retreat out to the Pyrenees. Um, where I'll be combining a few more short talks with some hiking, some climbing, some more adventurous training type stuff. So um, that's all exciting. That's all happening this week as well, where, where these ideas will hopefully um, come up as something that I can put out there to the world and see what people want to do. I'll keep you posted. Bye for now.